Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Emerald City Confidential. Last we left off, this mombi was laying into this poor barista. Well, I pointed out this before. Rope charmer. Could I ask you a few oh. questions? Hello? He keeps playing his little pipe, ignoring me completely. That's effective. And I saw something red and sparkly. Yes, I did. All right. Could I ask you a few? Hello. He keeps. Okay. So there's no way to actually persist in that. How many of those do I have? Five out of seven. That's not bad. The food they have on display looks pretty good. Um, cups. Purple, in honor of Mombi's home country. Huh. So she's from Gilligan Country. Let's see. I'm guessing that Mobby is pretty popular around here. Anything else that I can cook on? Ah, cook on? Click on. Evening. Uh-huh. So, what are you selling back there? What are you selling back there? Coffee. That's all? We got some food, too. Um, what sort of food? Yeah. What sort of food are you selling? We're offering a two-for-one special today. Hmm. A slice of cake and a small snack. Only five emeralds. Well, let's be sure to let everyone know what we're up to. I'm looking for a keystone. Would you know where I can find it? I just work here. If you want food or coffee, I'm your girl. Otherwise, I got things to do. Can't That's what blame I love her. about the countryside. The locals are so charming. Hey. Well, that's all she can... Okay, whatever. What can you tell me about Mombi? Why don't you ask her yourself? She's right over there. Well, let's take that Give special. Give me the special. You got it. One heavy cake and one light snack. Hmm. Heavy cake and light snack. Let me guess. Oof. That slice of cake weighs a ton. But that snack hardly weighs anything. Oh well, I suppose it evens out. Thanks for your time, miss. Uh-huh. Well, I'm also gonna guess that eating one makes you sink and the other makes you rise. I'm just calling it right now. Evening. Uh-huh. Thanks for your time. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's it. Okay. Let's try. Oof. This cake is making me unnaturally heavy. I don't think I can even move. She can't move. I see, this cake is lighter Ooh. than air. The light cake seems to counteract the effects of the heavy cake. I see, I see. I'm guessing that the... Psst. What? Are, Are you talking to me? Hey, lady, can you bust me out of here? Huh? You're... You're a rope. I'm a prisoner is what I am. Can you help me out? I'll be very grateful. Free the magic rope. Uh, yeah. How come you can talk? Because I'm a magic rope. Ask a stupid question. Yep. <laughs> How'd you end up here? I was captured. Captured and subjected to cruel tortures. That joker down there? His name is Kiki Aru. He's a fake. He tied me into a permanent knot and forces me to dance. What's a permanent knot? It's a knot that can't be undone. I'm bound to him. He wants to pretend he's a wizard. Is it so bad, Petra? Is it so bad? What does a rope need with freedom anyway? How would you like it if I tied your feet into a knot and forced you to dance? Hmm. Ah, good point. What can I do to help? Do you know any unbinding magic? Sorry, no. I was afraid of that. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, lady. Something we'll have to come back to. Sorry, Mr. Rope, but no, well, that's all we can do right now. Hello. Who approaches? My name's Petra. I have some questions for you. Questions? How quaint. Very well. Ask. Um, 
Who are you? Ah, eh, that's not gonna go over well. Who are you? If you have to ask that question, you do not deserve an audience with me. Hold on. I know your name is Mombi, but who are you? I am a sorceress from Gilligan. Once upon a time, my magic was known to both enthrall and terrify. But those days are long gone. And what little glory remains is here, in this pitiful arena. Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Maybe she'll know. I'm looking for a keystone. Do you know where it is? Perhaps I do. Perhaps I don't. Such is the way of magic. I need to find it. We all need lots of things. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a shame I can't help you. Of course. Let me guess. She wants me to do something for her. Do you know anything about the tower outside? You mean Glinda's tower? Glinda's? It's an eyesore. I would have it torn down if I could. How did you get to be champion? Because she's the best. By being the best, of course. <laughs> Not that the rabble here are any challenge. Thanks for your time, Mombi. The pleasure was all yours, I'm sure. Thanks, bitch. <sighs> okay, so that's that. Maybe I can talk with the rope charmer? Hey, I want to talk to you. He's totally enraptured in that flute. I won't get his attention this way. Hmm. Is there anything else I can do? Spirit rod, the cause of all this trouble. What's this? A simple copper rod. Maybe I can hit him with it? <laughs> I'm not sure what this copper rod is for, but I don't think it's that. Okay. No, I don't feel like going into the ring just yet. But she just gave us a bit of a clue when it came to Glinda's tower. Let's poke around her place. Walk to the tower. Oh. Now what's that? Tonk Rock. Okay. What's this? An odd-looking rock? The tower stretches up as far as the eye can see. Trees. I don't like them, and I don't trust them. You never know what they're hiding. Uh, anything else? Oh, wait, wait, I saw a sparkle. <laughs> okay, so, door. It won't budge. That door is made out of solid stone. It must open by magic. Let's hurl a rock at it. <laughs> um, spirit rod? The spirit rock can only be used on keystones. Okay. Um, simple copper rod. Okay. Can I use magic on it? Inspect on the canister. So, I'm not trapped inside a prison, so there's no effect. Okay, so, um, that did nothing. That was effective. Maybe I can chat with Woot about something first. Woot? Yes? See you around, Woot. Okay, so there's nothing else there. Sorry, every time I see Mom B, it makes me think of uh, one of the nicknames us kids have for our mother, my brothers and myself. We call her Mama Bee. Anyway. Well, we sometimes call her that. Hello. No, no, no! I am this close to giving up on you, Ugu. Uh... No talking, please. No talking. I see the sparky. Try it again! You're not listening to me. Lead with your elbow! Hmm. No! Your other elbow! You're hopeless! Come on, let her rip! No, no, no! 
Oh, can I move? In my day, we eat wizards like you for breakfast. Okay. So I see it. All right. Was that it? Let's try it again. Seven out of seven ruby buttons. Lead with the elbow, support with the shoulder. It doesn't look like he's enjoying himself. Oh, this is just embarrassing. Hey, you busy? Who are you? I'm Petra. Well, Petra, I hope you're here to put me out of my misery. Maybe. Because if not, I'm trying to teach this idiot how to fight. Oh. Ugo! What are you trying to do? Catch butterflies? Strike hard and fast. I want to see that wand smoke. Kids these days, you would know magic if it blasted them in the face. <laughs> um, and who are you? Who are you? Oh, how soon they forget. I'm known as the wizard, kid. The wizard? You mean the wizard of Oz? <laughs> That's right, but I'm just the wizard nowadays. That works. Yeah, that's a good question. Cause last we knew he was supposed to be going home. Although I think I heard that he went back. What's the Wizard of Oz yeah. doing in a place like this? What's that supposed to mean, huh? Every school kid knows the story. You used to rule Oz. What are you doing fighting in magic duels in the middle of Quadling Country? Okay, first of all, I don't compete. I just coach. You do, huh? And second of all, it's none of your business. Hmm. Sounds like that's a story there. Who's the kid? Who's the kid? This overgrown lummox is Ugu. He's got a tiny bit of magic talent, and now he thinks he's a wizard. What sort of magic does he do? <laughs> Parlor tricks? He's, he's got some talent. He just doesn't have any brains to go with it. Ouch. Do you think he'll get any better? <laughs> Not a chance. So why are you bothering? You see any other contenders around here? You work with what you got. True. Why are you just a coach? You should be in the ring. Yeah. Yeah. And if wishes were gumps, we would all fly, right? Look, I'm all washed up. Those who can't do, teach. But still... Leave it! I used to read stories of the Great Wizard of Oz. He seemed so powerful and larger than life. I guess it's true what they say. You should never meet your heroes. So he was a hero of yours, huh? Very interesting, though. I'm looking for a keystone. Keystone? What do you want with the keystone? You know about the keystone? <laughs> no, no, I don't. If huh. you know anything, you've got to tell me. I'm on a mission from Queen Ozma herself to find them. <laughs> sure you are. I am. Why doesn't anyone ever believe me? Well, would you? Look, just forget about the keystone, okay? Like the rest of Glinda's tower, it's locked up tight. Ha! Huh. Glinda's tower? I said forget it. So that's where it is. Glinda's Tower. Yeah, I get it. So we gotta get in there, huh? I wonder... How do I get in there? How do I get into Glinda's Tower? You can't. How do you know that? I used to work with Glinda. She taught me all the magic I know. Really? We fought together in the war. I know how powerful she was. Nothing can get past the spell she put on that door. Not even me. So you knew her? So you knew Glinda? Knew her? Of course I knew her. When everyone called me a fake and a humbug, she took me in. Aww. She taught me everything I know about magic. And more. More? Really? Forget it. Thanks for your time. Oh. Sure, sure, sure. I wonder. Ugo, did I say stop? Come on, let her rip. Can I chat with him? No, like no, no. Himself. Lights. Now those are an accident waiting to happen. In my day, we need wizards like you for breakfast. The stands are empty and dearly quiet. All right, let's try it again. Lead with the elbow, support with the shoulder. Again, maybe Woot knows something? Woot? Yes? How do I get into the tower? How do you get into the tower? Oh, you mean Glinda's tower? Yes. But you can't. Why not? You need a key to open it. 
And let me guess, the key is lost. Not at all. I uncovered the key myself. Oh, so where is it? Mombi's got it. The key's always given to the champion of the arena. Aha! Uh -huh. you you'll have to speak to Mombi. See you around, Woo. I see. And let me guess, she's not gonna give it to us, so in order to try and get it, we're going to have to become champion of the arena somehow. I wonder. Okay, Mama B. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mom B. You have more irritating questions, I suppose. Only yes. for an irritating person. Very well. Ask, but be quick. I need the key to Glinda's tower. The keystone is in there. And why should that be my concern? Because... I'm on a mission from Queen Ozma herself to find it. Are you? How brilliant. So by denying you, I'm also denying Ozma? Yeah. In that case, no. I shall not give you the key. Great. If you want the key, you'll have to get it like everybody else. Uh-huh. By defeating me in the ring. Yippee. Are you fucking kidding me? Thanks for your time, Mombi. The pleasure was all yours, I'm sure. Am I even prepared to do something like that? I might be. I don't have a lot of magic spells. But I've got a few stuff that I can use. Looks like I'm going to have to try and get into the ring. Woot? Yes? I want to fight. I want to punch you in the face now. I want to fight. You know magic? Sort of. Sure. I got magic coming out of my ears. All right. Just have your coach register with me and you're in. Uh-huh. Coach? I don't have a coach. Ah, uh, no coach. No fight. Let me guess. If it were up to me, I'd throw you into the ring with no questions asked. <laughs> But it's about liability, see? I see, I see. You need a licensed coach to vouch that you're ready to fight. Get a coach. Gee, I wonder who I'm going to get to be my coach. Uh, see you around. See you around, Woot. Yeah. I can't imagine who would want to take me on. Come on, let her rip. Hey. No, no, no. Wizard, what do you want? Mombi won't give up the tower key. Mombi won't give up the tower key. Yeah, I know that. And why do you think I'm working so hard to breed a champion that can beat her? Mm. I've got to get that key back. I just have to. That tower Let's doesn't see. belong to Mombi. It belongs to Glinda. If only I could find someone who stands a chance against her. I need a coach. I need a coach. Oh, you do, huh? Oh, goodness. As you can see, I've already got my hands full coaching this lump. Why should I coach you instead? Um, I'm fully licensed. I look good in green. When I, when I win, I'll give the tower key to you. Well, I am fully I'm fully licensed. Makes no difference. Anyone can practice magic here as long as you're in the ring. Hmm. I look good in green. Is that Whoa. supposed to be cute? Yes. <laughs> Newsflash, kid. It's not. Um. I could just say I just want to fight, but. When I get, I'll give the tower key. Nah, but that boy will I'll give the tower key to you. When I win, I'll give the tower key to you. You what? All I need is the keystone. Teach me how to win, please. Well, you've got the drive and the motivation to win. But do you have the ability to back it up? I... I won't know until I try. Yeah. All right, kid. Here's what we'll do. You face Ugu here in the ring. If you can at least beat him, maybe you're worth something. Um, let's do this. Let's, let's give it a this. shot. Right. Get in the ring, kid. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here, though. All right, kids. This is how it works. You stand still. No walking within the ring. This is a contest of magic skill only. You use your brain, not your fists. You got that, Ugo? We don't want a repeat performance of last time. Uh-huh. Um... Now, 
as the challenged party, Ugu cast the first spell. I see. What the? Aha. Uh -huh. Now, use magic to counter Ugu's spell. Well, we have only it's one spell. In here. I better find a way out of this prison, quick. Yeah. It's a prison, so... Easy. Uh, what? How'd she do that? She used magic, you imbecile. You should try it sometime. Amazing. I give up. Ugu, you're out of here. Hit the benches. Find another coach. Uh, okay. Yay! All right, so you're a better spellcaster than Ugu, but that's not saying much. If you want to take down Mombi, you'll need a spell with a bit more oomph. Oomph? There's this spell. I call it Sap. Sap? Ah, probably Sap. draws something it from works her. works great against magic users. It takes yep. a bit of their energy away. It's the mental equivalent of exhausting your opponent. But you need to cast it several times for it to work on someone like Mombi. You'll need to find ways of countering her attacks until the spell takes effect. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. So, okay, put that spell back. Any advice? Hey, coach. Hey, kid. <laughs> you think Ugu's gonna start gunning for me? You think Ugu's gonna start gunning for me? Ugu? Nah. When I kicked him out, he had a huge smile on his face. Yeah, he doesn't want to be He's here. He's just not cut out for this business. Maybe you are. Uh, from one spell. Why do you hate Mombi so much? Why do you hate Mombi so much? That witch doesn't deserve Glinda's tower. And you do? She goaded me years ago. She told stories about Glinda, said disrespectful things. I lost my head. I used magic against her outside the ring. Ah, that was gutsy. Yeah, well, it achieved nothing. Wook could have had me arrested. He settled for banning me from the ring, so I became a coach instead. Yeah. One day, I'm gonna train someone who can wipe the floor with Mombi. Maybe it'll be you, kid. So you wanna be a hero, kid? Well, whoop de doo Um, sorry. I flashed back to someplace else. Tell me more about yourself. Me? I'm not from around here. No, really? Grew up in America. America? Yeah, it's in a land far, far away from here. How I got here is another story in and of itself. Hmm. I read the history books. You ruled Oz for years. Yeah, well, not by choice. When I got here, they thought I was a great wizard. Who was I to argue? Years later, they discovered I was a fake and I left in disgrace. That's when Glinda took me in. Uh, she taught you real magic. She taught me everything. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Glinda, tell me about her. Glinda, tell me about her. Glinda and me were, well, close. She was my teacher, perhaps something more. We fought side by side in the war against the Fanfasms until she died for her trouble. Not a day goes by when I don't curse that war. I know the feeling. You lost someone too? Yes, my brother. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't brood so much about my own loss. Hey. Sometimes I forget that many people lost loved ones. Don't worry about it. Misery loves company. That's the truth. Hmm. Uh, yeah, a strange rock. I found this strange rock. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I think that's a tonk rock. A tonk rock? Well, that's what Glinda called them. They were often used in unbinding spells. Unbinding? How do you use it? I'm not sure, but if I had access to Glinda's library, I could tell you. Your best bet? Give it to someone else who might need it. Huh. Well, thanks, thanks coach. coach. Go get him, kid. And on that note, I'm actually out of time for this installment of Let's Play Emerald City Confidential. But I hope to see you next time where I take on the great Mombi. Hope to see you then.